How's it going, guys and girls? My name is Otek. Welcome to uh, the first squad build of the week. So today we're building a bit of a hybrid, I suppose. Uh, but this is an absolutely brilliant team. Uh, it's just amazing. All I did was win with it. It's just awesome, really. So let's get straight into it. So in that we have Adler. Uh, once again, I'll talk more in the clips. But yeah. So two centre backs, Hummels and Boateng, left back Jansen, and that is all of it. Oh wait, no, that's all of it now from the Bundesliga. So now going into the Serie A. Oh, we went past it. There it is. All right, so the Serie A. In right back we have Mika Richards. Centre mid we have Guarin. Right wing we uh, right mid. Nice me that. Happens every time. Right mid, we have Quadro. Quadro, what? Quadrado, sorry. Juan Quadrado. I was trying to say his first name, but I went Juan Quadrado with. And up front, we have the mighty Barbo. And for the small proportion of the BBV8, we have James Rodriguez in centre attacking mid and on the centre mid we have Kadira. Uh, so changes you can make to this team, you can have uh, Tony Cruiser um, but you definitely need someone German there to get the link uh, and with Rodriguez you need someone from Real Madrid so if you want to get Cruz uh, you could but I've used Cruz before I want to try out someone new. I've used every, I haven't used I've used two people in this team which is a Barbo and Draxler and I know that them two are good for a fact. Uh, I really enjoy them. I see it's going to cost you about 150k. Um, I would say to be honest, 130k. Uh, but you never know; price will fluctuate in an instant. So just a quick, like, uh, review of this team. Standout players: Boateng, uh, Rodriguez, Barbo, and Quadrado. They are all pretty much the main players. Boateng is by far the best centre back I've ever used on FIFA. Uh, I didn't use him in uh, FIFA 13, FIFA 14. I did. I just didn't use him uh, probably because there was high rated centre backs, and I normally have like, well, I mean, there's better ones in my in my eyes. I thought like Santana was better because he had loads of pace. Uh, Hummels was always there, and you know it's just really weird and. He's just awesome, and then Rodriguez, I used him as an inform, he he was really good last year, and he's 10 times better this year, I really enjoyed using him, he has been downgraded on his free kick, but then again I did have his inform, so that's by the why he had such a good free kick, but man, Quadrado is absolutely amazing, he's everything what I want him to be, he's got pace, he's got skills, he can shoot, that's all you need. I mean, you can get away with the strength. Uh, he can just slip past uh, anyway. It's just like simple to him. And then Asler is an absolute beast. I was thinking get a wider fella, but I wanted, I, I just wanted Adler back because he's so amazing. He's definitely, if not probably one of the best keepers I've used. So that's pretty much it for this team. So we're gonna go straight to the clips. This team is amazing. So this team is just totally different. It's just one of those teams where it's unstoppable really. Uh, I mean we do start off the scoring by conceding but uh, it's, it is a sweaty goal. That's the only thing about Adley, can't defend against sweaties. Uh, but honestly Adler's just one of those other keepers that is amazing. Uh, I said I don't rate keepers anymore, but I've always used Adler in my Bundesliga teams, either him or Neuer, just because Adler is he's just amazing. I was originally going to get wider for this team, but I don't like him. I know that Adler's beast. Uh, he's a little corner master too. Uh, he just saves everything, all these impossible shots. So, uh, Quadrado and Barbo pretty much scores. Barbo scores every game and Quadrado scores every game. Unfortunately, Quadrado didn't score any of this game, but he scored some brilliant long shots. As I can just do long shots with this team, it's really skillful. Quadrado feels like he's a really like 
like he feels like he's Ronaldo really with really just a lot more advanced stuff and it's all much much smoother I definitely recommend you get this team uh, it's it's just a really it's pretty cheap with uh, probably the money that a lot of people have got now and it's just really effective if you want to be working up to those higher divisions this is the team I would recommend so if you do enjoy this squad builder guys and girls stay tuned for the next one please like don't forget to subscribe see ya